The Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, uh, closed on February the 15th. And I know there's people out there wondering what they're going to do now because it closed and you didn't get the opportunity uh, to uh, sign up for insurance. One of the things we want to talk about today uh, are two things. We're going to talk about that high deductible and then on the back end of this call we'll talk about some of your options you may have if you didn't sign with the Affordable Care but there are exemptions and uh, there's a chance that it might reopen. But first of all let's talk about, uh, let's just keep it at the fact that um, the ACA closed on February 15th and you missed the deadline so I can tell you now you may have to pay a fine. But you have a high deductible and uh, if you have that uh, regular basic private insurance these days the average is running between six to ten thousand dollars for high deductibles and you probably say why are people getting high deductibles well uh, because they get low premiums that's the that's the whole thing you, you know you get a high deductible what does that mean if you have a six thousand or ten six five six or ten thousand dollar deductible yes you will get the lower premium of course all insurance policies are a little different and they're tailored to your family so you need to go over with the representative what's best for your family especially if you have special needs kids or kids away at college or something but the high deductible is really the big deal there and uh, most people don't have five six or ten thousand dollars in the bank for an emergency but ladies and gentlemen, let me just, uh, uh, those of you who are not familiar with uh, high deductibles, and I don't pretend or I'm not an insurance agent at all, so we ask that you do check with your insurance agent, but your licensed insurance agent in your state, but if for some reason you need to go to the hospital, uh, you need to, you're going to have to pay that deductible before your insurance kicks in. So this is the thing that we're trying to pass on. Uh, to our viewers today. Uh, some people don't realize that uh, even though you've got a five or six or, or eight thousand dollar deductible you figure well uh, I'll just go to the hospital and things will be uh, okay. Uh, they're okay once you pay that first that deductible and if I may digress for a moment uh, when you're talking about the ACA or the Obamacare program they have two programs the silver and the bronze program those are the most popular programs uh, with Americans today and that silver program uh, you have deductibles anywhere from three to six thousand dollars I believe and the bronze is really the cheaper of the ones but those are run anywhere from six to eight eighty five hundred so um, if you're fortunate enough to get those particular policies but as we stated at the outset that program is closed now but I want to talk about some things at the back end of this call about exemptions and these uh, sites may open up again prior to tax season April 15th but let's go back to the high deductible ladies and gentlemen this is a real deal for Americans these days because of the high cost of um, health care which keeps escalating and those of us who are baby boomers and if you don't know it, baby boomers like myself uh, they're retiring uh, at 10,000 per day and a lot of them have not put away a lot of money uh, for their health care uh, at this point and they've been accustomed uh, to their jobs taking care of their dental and health needs but let me tell you ladies and gentlemen once you retire a lot of those things go away so what I'd like to suggest at this point you take a look at the Ameriplan program we're a 22 year old 23 year old company now located out of Dallas Texas we have two programs we have our 2995 program we're not insurance we are not insurance but we can serve as a supplement to help you with those high deductibles we also have a 4995 program but let me talk about the 2995 because that may be all you need and that is comprised of our advocacy program, our hospital advocacy program, our dental program, our prescription program, and our uh, telemedicine. What is telemedicine? Telemedicine is virtually uh, that you can talk to a doctor 24 hours a day. Uh, if you just want consultation, uh, that service is free. Uh, however, if there is something that needs to be prescribed by the doctor, it'll be $17.50. 
So uh, that's how that program goes. But the 4995 is uh, a total program, and I'd just like to point out to the fact that the ACA may reopen, but you need to check uh, with healthcare.gov or with your local state exchange if you have one to see if it may reopen. And if you have special circumstances, like you adopt a kid, you lost your job, you have special circumstances, you still can sign up for the ACA. But the official enrollment left on February the 15th. So uh, that's uh, what we'd like to speak with you about today. And we appre really appreciate you taking a look at AmeriPlan and some of this education opportunity we passed on to you.